during every break today, I've had uh, guys in here that I don't, you know I've never met before come up to me and say, "Yeah, this is great. This is good. This is really good, uh, good information, good training." So, I think it's been well received. Sergeant Coy Gilbert is talking about the response he's received from their K-9 first aid training. Officers from Oklahoma City and other law enforcement agencies from across the state took part in the training on Monday. During this session, officers learned about the proper care of police dogs, including recognizing signs of distress, avoiding heat-related illness, and how to properly treat wounds. The police officers get a lot of training on you know, shooting and behavior for their dog, but they don't get a lot of training on the medical side of things. What, where are important arteries? So that you know, you know, is that just a little nick and we have plenty of time to get to the doctor or do we have to go right this second? Um, you know, from stab wounds, gunshot wounds, uh, head traumas, you know, hit by cars or one were to jump off a bridge, what would they need to do? They don't have that kind of training. So today is aimed at getting them better prepared for those things. Can't prepare for absolutely everything, but if they have enough knowledge that they can hold themselves together, get through those first critical moments until they can get to a veterinary hospital, then our job here is accomplished. The training program comes after a canine from the Oklahoma City Police Department was killed in the line of duty. Kai was stabbed by a robbery suspect who was running from the police. The German Shepherd was rushed to emergency surgery, but died the following day due to complications. The three-year-old pup was buried with full police honors.